I'm going to do a walk around of my 1986 Honda Goldwing Aspen Kate I just got done. This project originally started, I was going to make a bobber, but it's kind of morphed into more of a, kind of a bobber Street Fighter cross. I'll give you a kind of a rundown. Torque, all the, of course, all the fairing off, rear fender. Uh, only thing that's still Goldwing is the side covers and the uh, the air cover, fuel tank cover, but uh, it's modified as well. It had uh, this all right here was attached to the fairing, so I made uh, those are steel side covers. Uh, it had some spots in here of mounts and I filled all that in and added some screen mesh to the front and let a little, little more air into the air cleaner. Move the Speedo tack, all that stuff that was originally in the fairing moved it in and uh, uh, mounted it inside uh, where it, above the air box. You still have full access to the fuel tank. You know, and you can actually still lift that up too. It's just, you know, the wiring and air filter and everything. Uh, I got some uh, little aftermarket lights. Painted the bracket. Uh, it's got new fork seals. Painted all of the frame forks. Pretty much everything. Those are the stock handlebars. Lift them on there. I didn't think they looked too bad. Um... Got new timing belts. Um, I had a friend do most of the mechanic work. I'm not much of a of a mechanic. I do mainly the cosmetic. But uh, cut the exhaust off and uh, added a little turnout to either side. Sounds really good. I'll start it up here at the end. Uh, that seat pan, the cover, that's all made out of one piece piece of flat steel. Uh, pounded on it, put it in the English wheel. It's got no bondo on it. That's all metal finished right there. Hard mounted the seat. Uh, excuse that dragging sound. I have to plug my camera in. It's dragging the cord thing. Rear fender is off of a. It's a spare tire cover off of a 32 Ford. Move the license plate back in there. A little hidden, a little stealth. The rear lights. Those are custom dynamic tail lights. On either side. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, of course, it's hard tailed. You can see right there. Uh, dropped it probably close to four inches total. Got a real nice stance to it. Let's see if I can get it backed up here. I added a flat black stripe down the tank. The color, this bluish, grayish, greenish, it's actually called Chop Top Silver Metallic from Custom Shop. It's straight out of the can. It's not a custom mix, so uh, whoever buys this bike, you know, no problem trying to match the paint later down the road if he needs to. And then just a flat black stripe to break it up. There's a little too much just with the, the gray color. So I put that stripe on there. It kind of reminds me of like a 70s muscle car. But I thought it flowed out good. Uh, I'm to think if there's anything else. Bike runs great. Uh, it's been it sat for quite a few years, so it's you know I didn't go through the carbs or anything. I was afraid to, but I just been pouring some sea foam in, and it's been clearing up good. But it, it runs great. And it's just going to get better over time. Uh, pretty pretty cool bike for an 86 Goldwing. Doesn't look anything like it used to. Let me turn the key on here. Maybe. What's going on? Fan works, as you can hear. There's the tail lights. The headlights, for some reason, when I was just doing the shakedown run, quit. I'm going to try to get them working again. So let me start it up here so you can hear it. I know 
know cameras are terrible about sound, but there it is. Uh, my bike build over the year. I usually only do one a year, and this is it. I wanted to take an ugly bike and make it cool. And, and in my opinion, I think I, I made it cool. So, mission accomplished. Later.